hi guys this is dalia welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to share with you guys my october um planner lineup um if you saw my previous video i um uh, got the new planners from happy planner from the four release and um i am moving to the undated daily one um this is the currently the planner that i've been using since july this is a 18 month planner. I don't know the name of it. I know that I love the cover and it's very pretty. And I've been using it since July, like I said, but um, only here we, I got August, September, cause I removed them and I can find the July um, month. I know I put it somewhere, so. And like my craft room is a mess because I'm packing, so. It's somewhere, but anyway, I'm moving out of this beautiful planner and um, like always, I never throw away the guts that I don't use because I reuse them. I did purchase the um, the rose gold meta disc for this one. And it's a franking plan because I have my planner, you know, catch up main planner. I also have a section for wellness, which I'm working at an extension pack, the new, the new wellness extension pack. And I'm also work, uh, have my budget and that's also an extension pack. Um, one of the newest extension pack. I don't know. So I'm gonna give you a little flip through of it. Um, this cover I hand, I love my handwriting, so I don't mind putting my name in hand in my own handwriting. Sometimes I make stickers if I want to have something more fancy, but I'm fine with my, with my handwriting in there. So, so that's that. I already moved what I wanted because I franken planned the other one. So I already moved what I needed from that, from this planner to that planner. Love the dividers for this one. I don't throw them away because I reuse them. If I like them a lot, I will cover this side and reuse them. Um, I keep them for a while, but I really never go back to them. So, I mean, I, I need to declutter a little bit. I'm a heavy user of the monthly. I pre-plan everything and the monthly. And then every week when I do my, my thing, I move from here. This was using a kit i didn't write down who this kit was from but it was from etsy and i cut it with my cricut i figured that out so i'm excited and um i like having monthly kits um going forward for november i'm gonna because i didn't have time yesterday to print one for the october which i have used it already here and I should have used this month, so I might do that, but I already decorated that. Anyway, so that was using a kit. I wanna do that going forward. Um, that was my intention because I already I had August, September, October, November kits already purchased, uh, but I didn't have time to print it and all that stuff. I might go back with the October one. Um, so I use that. I love it. I love using kits, but I also love using um my happy plant, all my stickers. So um this one I started with a dashboard. So um for the month of August, it was a dashboard. This is another this is a dashboard kit from Etsy. Again, I don't remember, but I buy printables where I very affordable, no more than two dollars. I mean the tap that I pay for a printer was three dollars. So that's why I like um printable kits because they are a lot cheaper and i could print them myself and cut them myself if, if the machine doesn't work i i have cut them myself too so this was a kit from etsy especially for the dashboard which i was glad to find those so that is sad and then this was uh one of those capital chick um small booklets from from the Happy Planner, I mean from Capital Chick. So one of those little handbooks, they, they're like $5 and you get them at Michael and they are good like maybe for two layouts. So I use that in conjunction with, I think this is from the Happy Planner, some book, this Believe and this flower. 
it's from one of the books of the happy planet i don't know what else and then i use my elena um stickers and some stickers that i made like letter stickers war stickers so that was that one this was another kit from etsy this one i wanted to use a lot of kits um from etsy's beautiful butterfly i'm sure gonna be using this kit again and my daily for one daily page it will be beautiful so that and then i um, started to do like um prep this for the highlights and the goals that i have for the month and stuff like that so far i applied for a new position at my job and i got the position so i'm happy for that we went to the niagara's for and that's so far i haven't finished it yet or the month is not over so but and then this was another um another kit from etsy for the month of september i loved it because i love sunflowers and i love scarecrows so that was perfect and i love that truck that vintage truck so i love 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 that kit and that kit is going to be used again next year <laughs> and then i keep a heavy tracker of um the things that i supposed to be tracking like my chinese podcast for learning the language so very hard language to learn but i'm making some progress my cross stitch which you see i haven't cross stitch at all and check plan a daily fell completely so i mean i do check it daily because every day i go to it but like plan daily i'm not i fell of it so and then the two more important thing, things that I had to do this one is house hunting and continue packing the basement, which is my craft room. And you see, I use my monthly for everything. And then over here, this was using the black and white. Um, it's called black and white, but it has some gold foiling in it for happy planner. Keep tab. This was you see, kill of a plan, stripe and floral. I do write <laughs> in my spray when I finish. I write what book I use in the corner. Nobody sees this planner but me. Just in case I do the, the video. I haven't done videos about the planning for a long time. Again, I'm very busy right now with a new position. I need to take a certification that is going to take me three months to study for it. So I got to go into that studying now in october so i'm gonna be very very busy with this new um job but it's for the better so i'm gonna do what i can what i had to do and then you know my crafting and my stuff is put on hold because the job is more important at the moment and then this one is uh kill of a plan stripe and floral i love love this book of her it has beautiful beautiful um things I really like doing my vertical, so I don't know. I think I'm going to have to invent something like I have a vertical for a week overview and then a daily page afterward because in case I don't get to the daily, I still got my, my weekly overview. So I think I'm going to do that thinking about it now um, because I really love my, my weekly overview. And like I said, these three months, it's gonna be so busy for me so in case i don't get to the daily i still got what i would not do is just put my to-do list on the weekly we'll see so far i only have a setup for daily we, let's see how it goes if not i'll incorporate my weekly again again this was uh and i try to use color pens to match the the kit and the, the pens i have all kind of pens i have my um I just dropped everything here. Um, I have my expense, you know, my Statlers, my flares, and all that stuff. And the and I have my um friction pens, but these are the pens. It's a big cheapy pens that I buy at Walmart for a dollar something for 10 pens, and they color, and I love, love these pens. And I have my expensive one. 
this one's i use the fritzum one if i want to write something that i know i'm not sure that's going to stick because they're irreversible and i use this one a lot in my monthly because i could erase if things change but this is my main paints guide a big crystal 1.6 pen i love the way this pens right i love the way my handwriting look my handwriting look in these pens and these are my, my main pens and i have like i said i have statlers i have um the all kind of pens i have a thing of pens and this is the ones that i use the most go figure right so then again this was from the live love Posh flora blossom i did not receive my order yesterday so that's why it was not added to the to the previous video i said that i was going to add it but i didn't receive it yesterday so when i receive it i will die because i bought a lot of books from her so that is that one and this one was from the happy you see i have a mickey dashboards and all that stuff and this was from the happy plans book i love this book i love the pastels and all that stuff and i love that i match the pen exactly to it so i love that and then this is the last week of september uh, september dash october and that's when i moved to the other planner and then the this is the Oh, this was in November and then the December. Well, I didn't get to cover those yet. So then I got my September um, wellness. Well, this is a workout extension pack, but I don't use it for workout. So um, I was do doing the 30 month, the 30 day challenge for sit ups. I fell halfway through and then this is how I use it like in the top I put like uh, my pain level which thank God I've been pain free for the past two months so I'm very happy with that I keep track of my way the beginning of the week and at the ending which I haven't done because we have not done with at the beginning of the month at the end of the month I'm supposed to keep track of the hours I sleep fell completely um my mood and this is where i write what i eat um i'm trying to take i'm sort of doing the weight watcher but on my own and then i keep track of my step which i don't put them all the time but i could always look it up in the app again i use a lot of the run run uh wellness and this is the wellness stickers run run stickers stickers that i have in my stash stickers that i purchased from etsy um sticker from my stash so i then i write down i eat breakfast which this is not enough space for me to write sometimes it's i have to write little and i don't it's not working for me so going on october i decided to go also daily on my thing so i could have more space to write i write big my my handwriting is a big i have i write big and i feel like i had to write so little here that i don't like it and then this is on that week the end of the week my my weight fluctuate a lot so it's like 130 at the beginning it was at 131 then i and uh, so i lost one pound that week and then it, the next week it went back ah it's a it's a roller coaster and then here track keep track if i do the the challenge again what i write what i um think which um i haven't checked off this but i had done all of them again no pain so starting october i'm tracking the pain unless the day if i have a day that i feel that i don't feel good so then i'll try then i try to incorporate zumba on my own at home from through youtube Felt completely, I haven't started, but I will in October if I have the time. So this was this week, which I moved to the next one. And then this is my, my um, which I'm not gonna share because you don't need to know how much money I spend or buy or pay in bills. So this is where I keep my, my thing. So that was the one that I, that was the three main things that I have in my planner is the my regular planner, a wellness and uh 
a budget which i mainly use to keep track of the the due dates for my bills because really i am so terrible in writing down what i spend and and all that so i need to get into that i'm trying to do a no spend which is not gonna happen but you know try to spend maybe less so anyway that was the the planner that i was using from now um from july to september and i love it i'm gonna keep it safe because she'll come out again so now let me share with you guys the lineup that i did for um let me move on my pen I just drop it my back on the floor and everything is all over the place okay so um so if you saw my video yesterday um i share with you uh show you the planets that i bought so um i'm gonna share which one i did so i did this one which is my it's for work which is i'm gonna keep track of contacts and whatever uh due dates and then this is my Rain Dawn, which is a mess. Uh, my Ray Dawn. I love Ray Dawn. I love anything Ray Dawn. I buy anything that I see that is Ray Dawn. My house is Ray Dawn completely. Um, so I love her plant. I love her stuff. So I decided to incorporate one of her planners. And this is my job, my work planner. This is the weekly and monthly overview planner. I will go through it this is the one that i created and this is going to be my daily work planner and then this is my beauty planner so we're going to start with my personal planner and then we move to the work planner so again this is the new planner from i think i want to put like contact paper to the i don't want my the thing to get messed up this has glue i got it get so goo gone and, and clean it so that is the planner i love it i love it love it love it love it i think it's a little chunky and it's gonna get chunkier so i think i'm gonna have to buy um the rose gold extended um this even though that i love this one but rose gold will look good on it too and as you can see i have a rose gold here it will look good with the thing so i'm gonna have to get the extender um because this is right now it is chunky and it's daily is gonna get chunkier so i'm gonna have to change the dicks soon but anyway so that is that i franken plan it a little bit um because i don't have the right stuff so i like to use a folder here i'm gonna have to go to joan i'm gonna go to joan tomorrow and I see if I found an accessory pack or something that has a, like a neutral folders. Like, cause I love using this cause I keep important things and this. And, and the only one I have is wrong, wrong run. So for now I'm gonna put the wrong run onto, I find a more neutral one that I could use. Um, I need a folder. I have two folders and this one, this one is so old. I don't know why it was again i had to find an accessory pack that has a folder in it that i will look better with this plant but for now this one it is until i find a better one i keep important papers here so um then we go to the the first page of the planner i did print it my name and cut it again i don't have no problem handwriting it but i wanted to use a fancier one so i put it there and then this is the back of that page this planner doesn't bring this type of this this planner it's only this page and that's it so i needed a year overview plus i needed uh this the this calendars because i only gonna keep four months at a time in here or maybe i'm gonna have to keep three let's see how thick it gets so and like i i had to pre-plan for things to come so i could pre-plan on this and then when i move that month to the planner and then i move whatever i wrote here i move it to the monthly plan so perpetual calendar that's what it's called so i use this one from the planner that i from this one that i moved out so 
I added that there. Um, I should put the 20, um, the 21 because we're still on 21. So I'm gonna move this here and then I am going to use a little paper clip or oh, I could glue it. I have repositional um, tape from Cross To My Heart. I mean, creative memory. So I'm gonna do that because I still need this for the rest of the year. So that is that. And then my perpetual calendars. And then at the end, as you can see here, um, this is the, the tape for creative memory. I could remove it. So I have the back of July for the month and then the first, um, the last page. So, and I wanna keep using this for for the um, highlights and the important things that I need to do in October. So that is that. Um, again, I have used this for October, which is my birthday month. My birthday is on the 24. So I have put, purchased this beautiful kit from Etsy and I have already done it in this one. But like I didn't print it yesterday. Um, I just decorated with um, Kill of a Plant stickers from... No, not care of the plan. Live lost posh stickers. And then I use stickers from the um, extension pack decorations, David, and from the Papillon book. And I already, I got heavy stuff at the end of this month. I still don't have nothing. Then I use those um, dividers that I bought, and I use these Carpe Deems, um stickers which i need to find me another one before they get discontinued completely i found this one in amazon i'm gonna see if i find another one and just keep it as a backup because i love i changed this so much that i need all of them so i have my calendar there and then i put a little don't forget um things that i need to do during the month and then my habit tracker of the things that i'm supposed to do the whole month, you know, like my Chinese lesson, my cross stitch, which this is going to go in the back burner until I finish that certification, the cross stitch and daily plans, which now I had to do a lot of daily plan. And then the three important things that I has to do this month, keep house hunting, keep packing my basement and start the certification classes. And then I got my appointments. I'm gonna go away this weekend for a craft over fest for by creative memory. And this is another craft that I'm going um that. So then I started my daily. This is my other um thing. So I keep one for the calendar, so the month that we in, and then I keep one that we I move for either the week that we in or now it's gonna be the day that we're gonna in. So I did um Started, I decorated from Monday through Friday because I got tired. <laughs> and um, what I'm going to do is like the night before, uh, the night before, on the night before, try to do it. If not on Sundays, I try to do the whole week. Let's see how it goes. So this is my Monday, which is tomorrow. I use the Papillon book, of course, first book that I use and the washi tape. And I already um, put things that I need to do like, I got to pay bills, which is two of my credit cards. My Joanna Hobby Lobby run and my dailies. My daily is like I got to do every single day. So my Chinese lesson, my cross stitch, the daily plans, and take my pills, which that should be in my wellness box. And then I put a little box if I need to buy something, you know, besides Joanna Hobby Lobby, like if I need to go to Walmart and get something. This is for everything I use was for the papillon. What I'm going to try to do is use one book per day. Because I have, like I said, I have over a hundred books. Only only Happy Planner without counting. There are another hundred books of um, Paper Studio and Recollection. So I want to use, and Walmarts and Target stickers. So I want to, and Dollar Tree stickers. So I want to use one book or one package per day so that i will use a lot of and try to use my old old stickers because i, I got the first book that came out which i haven't touched in a lot in years so that's my goal 
and so this was the papillon i already wrote down a little bit of this you see i put a little thing of the books that i use i don't mind i'm the only one who look at this planner so and then i did two oh the dates are from um christy chris how do you say chrissy christy design something like that i don't know i got them at walmart they are like the her stickers are vinyl christy and design i can't remember her name but i'm sure you know who she is so anyway that book i got it at, uh uh michael for a clearance i think like two dollars so those are the dates that i use here i gotta make dates i do have them i had to print them because i did a whole bunch of dates in silhouette i just haven't printed them and had them print and cut which i found the printer cut is a lot easier and quicker than in, in, in the silhouette i can never get my silhouette to print and cut so i gotta figure it out how to do stickers and and Cricut and do the days and print them missing with my Cricut. So anyway, that is my, this I use it, keep going. Again, the, my to-do list, the three important things and the get it done daily. And then I leave little um, spaces so that I love the way it looks. It is time consuming. Then I use my Disney's for the first time ever. I've been holding, it's been a year since the, the first um, Mickey Mouse came out and I never touched it. So I used it here and here. These are the princesses, which was a uh, November release for last year. And I never touched them. And then I used this um, because this, I use Princess Plan. And then I use the Roy GBIV, whatever you call that, from Kelova Plan with Hawashi. And then these boxes, these stickers, they not, they don't have, they didn't have boxes. I use this from an old, old um, rainbow book, one of the old ones. So, you know, my to-do priority and my dailies, and then I have little space if I need to write anything else. Love the way it came out. Then this is the Mickey one. This is Thursday. The base is still the same from Christian Design. Um, for this one, I use Mickey's and Friend, which was the first book that came out from Disney from the October release. And then I use Fancy Blooms for the gold things. And this Sick Magic Every Day was from the Princess um, book because Mickey's book doesn't have quotes. So that's Thursday. And then Friday... The first, I use the Fancy Blooms um, stickers. I use a lot of the new stickers, of course. And then I just did a black and white um, spread. And if you remember me complaining about the, the pages, they all should have been colorful. Now I think they should all be gray. Because here I matched the, the stickers, right? The stickers look good. Here is all gray, so it looks good. Here is gray, here is blue, so I matched the stickers to that. But here I did it. So, you know, it's like you get these blue lines there and there. Now I think neutral is better. But I already have all those, so I'm gonna use it. But I think once I finish, because I was gonna buy another planner just to get the colorful, but now thinking about it, I think I'm gonna go with the gray ones. Yep, you learn, right, what you do. So then I had the reminding of the month here. And what I did was alternate um, one colorful, one gray, one colorful, one gray, one colorful, and one gray. And I was able to do eight months like this. So the reminding of the months is going to go that because I was going to buy another planner just for that. But I don't think I would do that. I like I think the neutral, it will be better. So that's the end. This will end. This will be the last day of October, October 31st. So then I it was just like that. Right. So what I did is I took the and the dashboard from this one the end of the month the dashboard so i could prep for november and like here is like the end of the 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 week 
so what i did is i added a just a great paper and i could use it for notes and stuff like that so it won't jump from here to this so it will be more finished and then i have november to prep for november so i did november i have not decorated because i want to print um a cover for the the november monthly thing and then same thing color gray color gray so i had november and i did the same thing december we got december again same thing color like that again november january january and i don't have nothing yet because we haven't get that far yet so um and then the same thing at the end of february so then i had this divider which is from i have no clue i think this is glam girl um but i don't have no divider so i use this one for any match the color is rose gold so this is my health section which again another attempt to the 30 days was challenge and i didn't decorate it I might go back and decorate it. I'm not sure. I got tired. I finished around 12 midnight um, with all these planners. So um, I might go back and add some flowers here and stuff like that. And then I have a schedule that I'm going to try to stick to it. We'll see. And then I'm going to go daily. So I use a Ronglon um, stickers. I use uh, colorful boxes. And then this dinner, lunch, and breakfast. Um, I made those stickers myself. Stickers that I use for my water inter, stickers for Etsy, stinker for change patch. That's the patch that I use for vitamins. I create those myself. My way in is a Monday, so I weigh in Monday and put it there. Workout. Um I got it at um two more because oh no this is monday that's why right. i will not start this schedule again until the first so that's why i only put one this is just for my steps um uh how are you how are you feeling today um sticker and then i like this this is the daily one but i really don't like the rainbow because i'm not always want to do rainbow so i got it i bought this at etsy i gotta find one or create it myself but i don't have the time if somebody else did it i buy it um one that is neutral for days that i want to i don't want to use colorful this is for ray uh run run on thing and then i have the you got this divider that i use to keep moving i'm gonna give it a try in october to see because really over here i wasn't having um too much space to write down my dinners so i think with this i'll have more space to write breakfast lunch and dinner we'll see again this one i only did one i was tired last night i had something important to do today for work so um if i had time i do um a few more days if not tomorrow night i do tuesday and then so i have the script pages then at the end i had the progress tracker which i gotta put um my weight tomorrow and then the way i did i don't measure myself with that like that i just write down that then i have the weight watchers purple plan that's the plan that i am following so i write down those you know the free the zero points full here because I always have this with me. So if I want to have break, uh, lunch that I, is now one of those already frozen smart ones food. So I could say, okay, I could go buy some fish, uh, some shrimp, or I could buy a baked potato plain from Wendy's or stuff like that. Or I could buy the baked potato with broccoli but no cheese stuff like that and then whatever i eat that is not in that list i just put the points so i don't have to keep track um scanning it all the time and stuff like that and then you know the portion size how it should be i keep that there because as you can see i don't have a no section here because i don't have space and then this is my expensive this is a wrong run because i like that girl you are going places 
and then again this is already set up with my bills and stuff so i'm not going to show you that and all of my expenses here and this one has this like weekly expenses for the week i'm terrible at feeling that i know i could always go back because the i could go my bank app and see what i purchased that day i'm gonna make an effort in october i'm trying to get my budget under control and spend less because there are things that i want in life besides planner supplies and scrapbooking supplies so i had to adjust my spending a little bit and then um this is the end of the month recap i felt completely on doing that but starting in october i'm gonna make an effort because i have to be as going forward for next year i have to because there are places that i want to go so and then this is so freaking oh i think this is one of the first ever um packets that came out when happy planet started blooming and adding more stuff to the lineup it's so old but again i haven't found other ones so uh, I had to go on the hunt for that tomorrow. I'll create one myself. This is not hard to create. If I can find one, I'm going to have to create one myself and add it. Because this one's, these two, they got to go. Oh, no, they don't got to go. I just got to put them away. And, because it doesn't match right now. It doesn't complete at all. So that is my main planner, which I love. And I'm going to put contact people in the cover. I did that to one, um, one of the planners when I don't want it to get all scratched up. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and buy some contact paper and add it to it. Because I don't want it to get scratched up. This planner is so beautiful. You see it's getting dirty already. No, I don't want that. So that is my main planner. So now let's go quickly to the faith planner that I'm gonna use for work. This one I think is gonna stay at, stay at work. I don't need to carry this one every day. This one stay, could stay in my desk. And what I did is I put one of my names there and I use one of my um, dividers and I titled it Urchin. So what I'm gonna do here, so I keep the dividers, um, this is 20 this is it was july 21 up to june of 22 i am gonna keep this one i am gonna because i'm really not gonna pay attention to this i'm gonna cover that with a um with a strip of washi tape um it's just like in october i'm gonna Put a washi tape here. I'm not paying attention to that at all. So that's why I moved the other thing to follow. So it will be a complete year after. I don't know. And then, so I'm going to do that. Whatever in, uh, whatever comes that is going to expire in October, i just going to put it here. And I will look at this, you know, every other week to see what's coming up that I need to take care of so i did um october and i kept the last page to any notes october then i did november same thing it's just three pages december then january on the Fe january february same thing, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and then we move back again, October, November, December, goes to the back over here, because whatever is expired, let's say, uh, December 30 and December 30, 31st, September 31st. September is only 30 days. So this is this not from here. Anyway. This year this year, so next year, September 30 expire again. So I don't need to change this yearly. 
just keep track of it and then i did the contact section which i'm gonna buy some small tabs so i could do alphabetical so then a b c whatever and just go to that so this is my work expiration dates and contact planner and i didn't realize this cut here but it's okay because this is going to stay at work my rain done 18 months from 20, 2001 to 2022 is staying. I'm not getting rid of this one. This is my work um, um, thing. I was using it prior to applying to that position and, and ha getting the position. I was just using it just to mark down, you know, um, my hours. I bought it in August. This is when I bought it. In August that I started using it. I didn't. Yeah, I bought it, I think, at the end of August. And I started using it in September. Well, I started one anyway. So, um, this is the holidays. And I have a little note pages for that. A lot of pages. And then August, which I bought it in September. So, of the beginning of September. So, I did not use August. And then I started using it in September. I decorated a little bit. This is from Care of a Plan. Um, I wrote the important things like the credential. I had the position, the interview. Oh, I started using it on Friday 27. I wrote a little things. I don't know. So anyway, so then I got an a, a interview. I leave at two. Got the offer, accepted it, and then I got the when was effective. And there's some things here that I can show because I already put stuff. Like first, I was using it just to you know the hours that I work when I was off, when we had meetings and stuff like that. And now for the new position, stock it started on Monday. Then I had a, my training week, and then I got to do. Um, this week I haven't planned and that's today and then I already have some stuff here that I had to from For going forward for the new position. So I'm gonna continue using this planner and this is gonna be my monthly view and my weekly overview and then I'm gonna share my daily and then this one is all the way to December 2022. So this one's staying for the whole year again and then lastly oh let me put this paper here this is i got a plan um for this week for monday that's that and then lastly which this goes for what's this one goes this one goes here you see i lose them calendar and then here that and then lastly so this is the daily plan that i'm going to use for work uh, like this is just made out of printouts that i did doesn't have a cover or nothing so i created a cover myself i use one of those i think i'm going to change that i'm going to put washi tape there i don't know it looks it match it looks good so i printed one of my names and i use those kind of a plan stickers and just did a cover and then I use wrong wrong dividers from one of the notes, um, happy notes. So I was going to put the month here, but I'm not going to do it because I want to keep reusing the same, um, because these are like base business like girls. So I want to keep using the same dividers. So I have that one, I have that one, and I have that one. And then I printed, I have one of those things, get it done. So I printed three months worth of the office organizer. And that's the one, I don't know if I'm gonna decorate this. I think this one is gonna stay home. I mean, it's gonna stay in my desk also. I don't think I need to carry this one every day. So I think this is gonna be just mainly pen and paper. And then I decorate my weekly and monthly. So this one is going to stay in the office. These two are going to stay in the office um, because I really don't need to carry this one daily. So 
it's gonna stay in the office so and then i decided to keep the back blank again so i could jot down any notes or any anything important that pertain to this day so i did three months worth only monday to friday so i only had 21 days in this section and i could put more i could print more but for now i am gonna leave those three months so that is my planning lineup for october for the reminding of the year and i think going forward um this one is not this one is a retired one going forward well for the reminding of the year i'm gonna try the daily to see how it works i think i'm gonna have to incorporate weeklies in like put a week like let's see here so this is friday right friday saturday sunday so then i have a lot of uh undated weeklies from extension packs for that i have so just sandwich one of them and um and put the weekly and then the seven days between i think i would do that going maybe let's see how this week goes with that so that is my lineup for october so far from october to december let's put it that way so um, then, let me quickly share the bag that I use to carry my planners. It is a beautiful Vera Blatley um, bag that I purchased. I love, love, love it. I got this ribbon at work. I don't know which cancer it is. I had to Google it. And then I had this um, candy cane Hello Kitty that my daughter gave me because she knows I love candy cane. I mean, candy corn and um so i just put it there so i use this beautiful beta blackly um let me raise you a little bit and it's very very roomy inside inside i carry a ray done no um notebook which i decorated with the new stickers and then i have i'm a, these are notes that i have in there that i had to organize it because it was randomly but I'm gonna organize this note and because I don't have a note section in my daily in my regular planner. So I'm gonna use this one as my notes. And then I also carry this colored thing. And what I carry here is my meat liners, highlights, and some pens. I wanna order another one for my pens because right now my pens are just in one of in these packets here. So I have them like randomly there so i think i'm gonna order another one of this one and that's what i keep in my bag and important papers that i need to that it has a packet here and then he has another packet in the front which i keep like sticky notes this is for my bash so i could change it score tape if i need to glue something and white out so i love this bag it's very useful and um I love Bella Bradley stuff. I have a few of her purses too. So that's it. That's all I have. And that's what I carry my planners. And um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time. Bye now.